Now, in my research of you, you you skipped traditional middle or grade school, middle and high school. Is that correct? Or how I'm did a, that work? Yes, I'm a fifth grade dropout. That's a, <laughs> as I say. Yeah. So how did? And I want to I want to indulge that for a moment. I yeah. Mean, because it, it shows is. about the human journey, basically. Mm-hmm. What is that like? I mean, to 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 not be that traditional path when the vast majority of Americans, in this case, have that path. What's that been like? Well, it's fascinating because. So many people go through the, the kind of conveyor belt right. of education where you, you, you don't really question the options. I mean, there's some people that are homeschooled and other people that sure, they'd sure. have, you know, an unusual, like they go to a Montessori school or Waldorf or, or something like that. So there are variations, but the expectation is you're around certain age groups, the class sizes are X, Y, and Z, and that, you know, you go to elementary, middle, and high and mm-hmm. you know, go you know, the, the timing of the day looks kind of the same. And... Uh, I did not have that experience after fifth grade, and wow. it was it was kind of remarkable. We didn't plan it out that way at all. We weren't trying to do something crazy. Mm-hmm. It's just after fifth grade, I was going to go to this music middle school, and it totally fell through. They moved buildings. It didn't work out. They changed location. It wasn't going to be uh, viable. And my parents had heard that a couple of, of, of kind of, uh, I guess you could call them um, prodigious kids had skipped their last year of high school and gone to community college instead. And so I guess the natural uh, uh, extrapolation from that would be, well, maybe we could just do that instead of sixth grade, mm-hmm. which doesn't you know, really <laughs> seem like it would work. But no. we went down to the, when I, I lived in Oakland, California at the time, we went to the office of the, uh, the community college district there in the, in the East Bay. And I'll, I'll never forget the dean who ran all the academic programs there just kind of he just kind of shook his head and he said, I have no idea if this is even legal, but <laughs> yeah, whatever, it's a good story. I was kind of wondering that myself. So, he, said, he said, if you can make it past the, uh, the entrance exams to get into the English and math placement, I said, fine, you can do it. You talk to the teachers, work something out with them. And I have to say, my community college education starting at grade six was the best thing I could have hoped for. First of all, it gave me the flexibility of time to practice and, sure. and work as a musician. But I was in classes with the most diverse, interesting group of people. So, okay, so you're what, 9, 10? I was, I was 11, 11 when I started. Classmates. I mean, everything. The, the, I, I mean, the, the next youngest were 18, of course. <laughs> right. But, but people went up into wow. you know, the retirement age by, by sure. far. And that's the thing. You'd, you'd be in a, a German class with people who were taking German as a language because that was one of the requirements. They just randomly selected it. And with people who uh, were in very advanced business programs and were doing work in Germany that mm-hmm. year. And so they wanted to brush up on their German with people that had just retired and were going to take a month-long trip to Munich. And so they, they went to the, the class. So you were with the most interesting folks. So when I was in inner city Oakland, mm-hmm. uh, you got the entire range of experience. So wow. I can assure you, having a, a, a class conversation about Shakespeare uh, or Toni Morrison or something like that when you're 11 years old uh, mm-hmm. was a very interesting experience. So I don't want to belabor this about your education and how unique it was, but did the dean, was it somewhat of a challenge, the dean, when, you know, to go take those tests and come back and if you pass them, you'll do it? I mean, I can only imagine yeah. that, you know, most nine-year-olds would have, I would argue, would have bombed that, you know, at that level, you know, almost twice your age to, to fulfill that requirement. What was that moment like? Do you even remember? You know, I... I, I really don't remember thinking anything was all that odd because when you're a you kid, wouldn't. you just kind of go through yeah, the experiences. You, you don't, every, everybody was older, uh, but outside the system, like mm-hmm. outside the community college system, thought it was crazy. Inside the system, nobody cared. It was right. amazing because in community college, it's not like four year university. Everyone's there because they want to be. Nobody's right. there just because they, somebody forced them to do yeah. it or said, you have to go to college. So there you go. People were there because they want to be there. And by and large, people said, oh, well, that's interesting. What's your deal? <laughs> But they said that to the next person. So sure. I, like uh, I, I was treated so well by the mm. other students and uh, and the teachers especially went out of their way not to uh, treat me differently or not to mm-hmm. uh, give me any special leeway whatsoever. Every once in a while, when I was 11 or 12, and the subject matter would veer into something that they just felt like they, the teachers did not want to be responsible for explaining to me. Right. There'd be a tiny little blip. They say, "Okay, we're got, we're not going to do this one with the whole class. You can you'll sure. do another assignment." But honestly, after that, it was it was just like I was any any other student, oh, wow. and nobody uh, looked at me differently. That's serendipity, in my opinion. 
Yeah, that and whole I loved thing, it because it changed the course and trajectory of your entire life. Yes, and it was a great moment. education, and mm -hmm. it gives me uh, such confidence in the capabilities of our teachers, our education mm -hmm. system. When you know California has a very good community college system, and, and mm -hmm. when you have a system like that, uh, I remember there there were people that were going. Uh, to Stanford, to UC Berkeley, they were transferring out. I mean, some of the best schools in the country because the school system wow. was was great. So I give back to our public schools because I was a product of, of what's possible there. Mm -hmm.